Welcome everyone, thank you so much for joining us to the release of our new film, Christmas Couple Unwrapped. Stay with us for a second, because we've got a few things we want to say before the movie starts. We're very grateful to the community of Cambria and its amazing contribution and all support to TFT Films and Cosa Studios since the very beginning. Since the development stage of Unwrapped, we've been wanting to do a live screening like we did with Astray in a theater with our amazing supporters all there sharing the viewing experience. Not only that, but it became a huge fundraiser event to help pay for all of Astray's expenses and even some for Unwrapped. However, the new protocols in place have made that impossible to do again. So in your convenience, we decided to stream it for free so you and your loved ones can watch it whether together or from far. But if you still want to make a contribution, you can go ahead and click the link below where you can donate and buy a physical DVD or Blu-ray copy of the film. So with that said, we hope you are all staying safe and well. We don't want to hold you up any longer, so go ahead and sit back and enjoy the show. This is Wintercrest, where the grass is always green, the sun always shines, and the postcards are always a little overpriced. I grew up here. Needless to say, I got out the minute I turned 18. This is where I live now, the big city. Everything goes at a million miles per hour, which is refreshing for a girl who spent most of her life in slow motion. I take the hustling and bustling of this place over the calmness of Wintercrest any day. Unfortunately, my family doesn't agree. So you're sure you can't say no? Christmas in the city is magical. Believe me, I wish I could stay, like more than anything in the world. But Christmas is a special time with my family. Tours come to town, business booms. They've been throwing a special Christmas Eve party this year. Well, at least you'll get to spend time with your parents. I doubt it. They're both so busy with work, they're not even picking me up at the train station. They're gonna make you walk? No, of course not. They're not evil. They're sending some guy who works for them. happen to be Jake, would you? Yep, that's me. You must be Noel. Uh, yeah. This wouldn't happen to be your truck, would it? <laughs> yep, old reliable. You can put your suitcase in the back if you want. Uh, I'll keep it up front with me, if that's okay. Yeah, it's fine.
Comfortable? Snug as a bug. So, I hear you're coming from the city. How's that? Good. Good. That's good. Country? Take the back roads, it'll be quicker. You know, I've never understood dice games. I mean, they're not even games, they're just repetitive tests on probability. At least with a game like chess, there's strategy involved. I never liked chess. You have to do too much... Thinking? Analyzing. It ain't fun. I'd much rather let luck take the wheel. I don't believe in luck. Luck implies there's destiny, and there's no such thing as destiny. Well, see... Turn here. I've been to your house before. How was the trip back? Well, it would have been better if you hadn't left me with that weird Jake guy. Jake's a nice boy, and very handsome. Hey, do you need me to take anything back to work with me? No, I think we're all right, but thanks, Jake. Dad! Hey, kiddo, <laughs> we've missed you. How's the big city treating you? Oh, that's great. Yeah. I have so much I want to tell you both. Oh. Well, it's going to have to wait because your father and I have to get to work. Are these the champagne flutes? No, no, the, these are the wreaths. The flutes are in the oh. car. But the Christmas market's tonight. We have to go to the Christmas market. I'm so sorry. The Christmas market must have slipped our minds. But we have to get to work. I'll tell you what. I'll have Jake take you. Are you kidding me? It's a family tradition. He's not family. I better go talk to her. No, no, no. She needs to cool off. And we need to go. Thanks for the backup, by the way. Oh, oh no problem. Ready to go? I already told my parents I'm not going with you. Harsh. Well, why well, ain't leaving without you? Your parents told me to take you to the Christmas market and they are sort of the bosses of me. Well, in that case, you're gonna be standing there all night.
Come on, at least try to have some fun. <laughs> Now I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue I just want to I don't need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop You can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well that nobody else can do what you do I just wanna fall in love Hey, look, it's Santa. Come on, let's go tell him what we want for Christmas. What are we, like five? You never outgrow Santa. Santa's forever. <laughs> oh, what a lovely Christmas couple you two make. Uh, no, we're, we're not a couple. He just works I, I'm just here, here for uh, work. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, what would you both like for Christmas? What I want is to get out of here and spend the holidays in the city. And what I want is for Noelle here to realize that there's no better place for Christmas than right here in Wintercrest. <laughs> well, I'm sure that one of you will get your wish. <laughs> Save the wrapping paper, your ribbon and bow. I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights You know me so well And nobody else can do what you do I just wanna fall in love this Christmas I've said it before and I'll say it again. Christmas Market Hot Chocolate is, without a doubt, the best hot chocolate in the world. Oh, please. You haven't had my mom's hot chocolate. I'm sure she'll have some at the party tomorrow. Noelle. Are you asking me to accompany you to your mom's Christmas Eve party? Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna be there anyway. May as well try the hot chocolate. <laughs> hey, Noelle, I just... I wanted to tell you that you're not alone. My parents seem pretty distant too. Not just with me, but with each other. Seems like all they do is bicker. They're maybe even talking about getting a divorce. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for earlier, too. I was just bad at everything and I took it out on you. You have nothing to apologize for. <laughs> you ready to get out of here? Yeah.
This is Wintercrest, where the grass is always green, the sun always shines, and the postcards are always a little overpriced. I grew up here. Needless to say, I got out the minute I turned 18. So you're sure you can't see me. Christmas in the city is magical. Believe me, I wish you could stay like more than anything in the world. They're gonna make you walk? No, of course not. They're not evil. They're sending some nice words for them. Jake's a nice boy. And handsome. You wouldn't have to meet Jake, would you? Yep, that's me. It must be Noel. Are you kidding me? It's a family tradition. It's not family. Oh my God. Hey, look, shut up. Santa, at least try to have some fun. What are we, like five? You never outgrow Santa. Santa's forever. Oh, I am sure there's one of you out of your way. Are you asking me to accompany you to your mom's Christmas Eve party? What the hell? I'll be down when I'm ready. Morning, honey. I'd love to hear about your night with Jake, but your father and I have to get to work. If you want, your father and I could give you a ride into town, so you could do a little last minute Christmas Eve Christmas shopping. No, I think I'd prefer to stay home. Mm. I really think you should go into town. I'm actually feeling a little sick. I think I'll stay in. Two people, a man and a kid, both come out of a yogurt shop. A uh, man in a business suit comes out of a pharmacy with the plants. Noel bumps into Jake. <laughs> Noel, fancy seeing you here. What's that you got in your hand? Wait, that's not your line. Huh? It's not your line. You're supposed to say fancy seeing you here and then we have some pointless banter. But you didn't. Uh, Come on, we need to talk. So, you're saying you found a script which happened to describe the things we did yesterday, and your immediate assumption is that we're in a Christmas movie? Mm -hmm. Is this some sort of prank? No, you don't understand, Jake. It predicted the future. Oh, all right. Then show me the conversation we're having right now. I can't do that. We're off script. Well, that's awful convenient, don't you think? This isn't a prank, Jake. Do you really think I'd spend my Christmas Eve playing a joke on some guy I just met? Maybe. <laughs> Listen, I gotta get this package to your parents. Hang on a minute. Hey, what are you... <laughs> See, you're delivering an empty box. It's obviously a prop. Maybe she just really needs this box. Really? Are you sure about that? No, I'm not sure. But I'll ask her when I drop it off, which I'm going to do right now. Well, if it isn't the lovely Christmas couple, you really should listen to your little girlfriend there. What? Let me guess, you're a small town, rural guy who loves Christmas time. You work as a rancher, or a carpenter, or for her parents. Yeah, that's the one. 
you worked for her parents and you had to welcome her to town. And you were nothing but nice to her, but she was cold, sarcastic, maybe a little bit distant. I bet you have a one-syllable name, something like Luke or Mike or Nick. Definitely something ending with a k sound. Jake. Yeah, of course. And you. You're a city girl who reluctantly returned to her hometown for the holidays. You didn't want to be here, but then you met this poorly written, perfect guy with no apparent character flaws except for his ruggedness. And now you're starting to be happy you came back. How would you know all that? Mm -hmm. You buy me another drink and I might tell you. <sighs> all right, first things first. The girl's right. I don't know how she figured it out, but you guys are in a Christmas movie. How can you be so sure? You aren't the first. I've lived through hundreds of these movies. They always have the same stupid plot taking place in a perfect world. You'd think one of them would throw in a space battle or, or a serial killer just to make it more interesting, but no. <laughs> this isn't a perfect world. I work a minimum wage job and I think my parents are getting a divorce. <laughs> you get paid to carry around empty boxes. And as for your parents, I bet they call you sometime this evening and say they want to see you. And they'll tell you that they're going to give love another chance because that's all these movies are. Love this, love that. Oh wait, so we're constantly cycling through Christmas movies? No, I said I'm constantly cycling through Christmas movies. I have no idea what happens to you people when the movie ends. All right, now it's my turn for a question. How'd you figure it out? Found this on the desk in my room. I think it's some sort of error. I would guess that uh, some actor forgot this on the desk. I mean, it, it happens all the time. A guy in t-shirts and jeans shows up in a gladiator movie or a, a coffee cup shows up in a fantasy show. I mean, nobody's perfect, <laughs> but this is a pretty big mistake to make. So, what do we do now? Well, as I see it, you have a choice to make. Your story ends tonight at midnight. The, sh the clock strikes midnight, ushering in Christmas. Noel, I can't wait to spend Christmas with you. Noel and Jake kiss, fade to black. So what happens after we fade to black? I told you. I don't know. But I can guess. There are two likely possibilities. Either you go on, get your happily ever after ending, live in a nice house, have adorable little kids, maybe someday have a sequel if the audience likes you. And the other possibility? Poof, you disappear. You cease to exist. But like I said, you have a choice. You could leave. I mean, nobody's ever tried it before, but nobody's ever gone off script either. So why haven't you done it? You seem sick of this. Why haven't you left? 
I'm Santa. These movies need me. I can't escape. The only escape for me is in the bottom of this glass. I expect I'll be doing this for the rest of eternity. Jake, we need to leave. We'll pick up our, our parents and explain everything, but we need to leave. And I'm sure they'll all fit in the back of your truck. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. You two have personalities. Uh, cliched and overused personalities, but personalities nonetheless. All they have is lines. Kid, in one word, how would you describe your mother? Um, maternal? <laughs> Look, don't feel guilty, kid. They're not really your parents. They're plot devices. But I have memories of them. A whole lifetime full of memories. Yeah. How precise are they? Uh, did they get you a car for your 16th birthday? Yeah, What sure. kind? I... No, I'm not leaving without my parents. Come on, Jake. Give me a ride home. Uh, sure. Fair enough. Thanks for the drink, kid. Honey, I heard you bumped into Jake today. Did you have a good day? Aren't you going to ask me about this? Uh, no. I just wanted to know if you had a good day with Jake. Yeah, well, I want to know what our dog's name was. I mean, obviously, we had one, so what was its name? Or help, was it a boy or a girl? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Or... What about this? My fifth birthday party. What can you tell me about my fifth birthday party other than the fact that it was pink and princessy? Which, in fact, pertains to every girl's fifth birthday party. I just wanted to know if you had a good day today with you. What about this piece of bear shaped garbage? It's in nearly every photo that we have. So what's its name? Kids name their toys, right? What's its name? Honey, we just wanted to know if you had a good day with Jake. No, I didn't have a good day with Jake. If I had a good day with Jake, I wouldn't be having a mental breakdown right now, would I? Don't touch me. So what made you change your mind? I tested them and they failed. You test yours? I thought about it. I'm just gonna bring myself to. You said you wanted to go. Where do you plan on going? The city. I think we should go to the city. Are you sure? This is as much your home as it is mine. It's not real, Jake. Nothing here is. Wintercrest doesn't exist. Not really. I don't think it's that simple. Yes, it is, Jake. I just spent all afternoon with tons of stuff that should have brought back memories. Do you know how many did? Zero. None of them did, because none of it existed. If we wait a few more hours, we're not going to exist either. All right, city it is.
Sorry, ma'am. Road's closed. It wasn't yesterday. Sorry, ma'am. Road is closed. So how are we gonna get to the city now? Try the other side of town. That road goes away from the city. We just cities. need to get out of town. We'll figure out where to go from there. to be kidding me. Sorry, ma'am. Road's closed. Why are you saying ma'am? There's two of us. Because he only appears once, and it's when I'm trying to leave town. You're not in that scene. Sorry, ma'am. Road's closed. Huh. Can you move out of the way so we can leave? He's not going to be able to respond. He only has one line. Sorry, ma'am. Road's closed. Now what? What about the back roads? The back roads? Yeah, the back roads. They can't close the roads there because we have a scene. Not long before the end, we go out there to find a tree since one for their party didn't get delivered on time. Wait, who orders a tree to be delivered? Literally no one. But whoever wrote this either didn't know or didn't care. It d doesn't matter. The point is, that's our way out. But it happens pretty early in the night, so we need to get going now. Hey, Mom. You, you want to talk to me? Be right there. You're not going. I'm sorry, Noel. I have to. No, no, you don't. I mean, for all you know, this could be the movie's way of trying to keep us from leaving. We don't even know if that's how it works. I... I need this, Noel. Look, I'll just read the script as you drive. Let's, let's see what happens. But we pull up. Uh, no. I have to live this one. Please. I'll be fast. Fine. This will only take a couple minutes. Why is she alone? So 
was so mean. Let's go. One line ass can do about it. <laughs> What's so funny? One lined ass? Why won't it start? I think something's wrong with the engine. I'll see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Hey! Where are you going? Leave it. I bet it's just the movie trying to stop us. Besides, there isn't time. It's already 11.46. Are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely, 100%. Come on, we've only got a few minutes left. No, I'm not going. Not now with my dad gone. I can't leave my mom alone. But, but you could die, Jake. Do you want that? No, of course not. But like I said, I have a fertile at luck. Take the wheel. I, I'd kiss you if I wasn't afraid for my life. I'd kiss you if I wasn't afraid for your life, too. you get the happy ending that you always wanted. And I hope that 70 years from now surrounded by people that you love. You too, Noelle. You too.